news making headlines. Addicts now use expensive hair wigs as commodities to feed their habits. Local talent have come out to showcase their skills. And lastly, protesters have come together for the hashtag Not In My Name March Against Women and Children Abuse. Good evening and welcome to Central City News. I am Marjorie Mieki with your news at 7. It would seem women wearing expensive hair wigs will have to hold on tighter to their hair as addicts have now resorted to stealing the hair of women's heads to feed their habits. A woman reported to the Arcadia police that an addict tackled her while walking to her flat at night and stole her wig off her head. This comes after several similar incidents were reported by women in the area who cried about the same offence. Brian Maslati reports. A cell phone, wallet and a handbook would be the usual items you would suspect a thief to steal from you while walking late at night. But local addicts have reached a new high after several women reported to the Arcadia police station that addicts stole their wigs off their heads. I think for your wig to be safe, you just have to tell your stylist to install wig combs in your wigs and then that's it. So it will be at least safer because now the wig has combs so it's going to stick to your hair when someone is trying to pull it out. I think it highlights the fact that uh, the criminals have become so creative to an extent that they are infiltrating every space in which our people are living in. So we have heard about such incidents where wigs are being grabbed from uh, women's heads and so on and so forth. Now, uh, it's difficult to prevent some of these incidents. However, we are saying people must be aware when they are walking across congested areas and again, at the same time, avoid areas that are isolated. This is Brian Matlati, Central City News, Pretoria, Sunnyside. Young local performers have come out to showcase their skills at the South African State Theatre last Friday. The hopefuls gather at the weekly event called The Precinct to showcase their performing art skills in front of hundreds. The event gives these performers a platform to share their talent while it keeps them off the streets. Lydia Shongwe reports. <laughs> Lydia Shongwe, this is Central City News. I'm here at State Theatre in Pretoria today, where as I get to see the youth around Pretoria who get to showcase their talent from hip hop, dance, music, and poetry. So let's see what some of the artists have got for us. So, uh, what happened is that we came here to the precinct, we came to showcase our talent here. So, it has been quite a wonderful experience because we've been here for like um, three years. So uh, right now, because this place has helped us to get uh, no notified of our talent, we got disseminated to uh, various uh, media productions where everything is happening right now for us. So we are very thankful for this platform and we're having fun. <laughs> Thousands of men and women have gathered together at the church square under the hashtag Not In My Name to march against women and children abuse. This comes after the case of Garabo Mokwena, a woman who allegedly suffered physical abuse at the hands of her partner, who then doused her with petrol and acid and burnt her beyond recognition. The case sparked anger among social media users who further started the hashtag Men Are Trash. It is from this that a group of men got inspired to start the hashtag Not In My Name movement and march against women and children abuse. The march had women share their stories and men commit themselves to alleviating abuse against women and children. So we want to say as the hashtag not in my name movement is that the march here is only the beginning of rolling action that we are going to be taking in terms of going to schools, 
going to churches, having community conferences under the hashtag not my name banner. Why did I speak out? I spoke out because I really wanted this to stop. I really wanted women to, to stand up for themselves and for the killings to stop. Let's try and fight and do whatever that we can do to limit it. Because the truth is, unfortunately, we cannot end it. But then let's do whatever that we feel in our power. That is it for your latest news updates. I am Margie Mieki. Good night.